Now, Lucy clearly has a hip like this. Take a look. This is Australopithecus afarensis. It doesn't happen to be the Lucy hip, but it's a, it's a hip of afarensis. At least I don't believe this is Lucy's hip. Uh, and you can see the iliac blades stick out more typical of an ape. And Stern and Sussman say that. Uh, they say that the, the marked resemblance of Lucy to the chimpanzee, or at least this specimen of afarensis, is equally obvious. Now, evolutionists don't like that. They want Lucy to be a human. And Lucy's got ape hips. What are you going to do about that? How are you going to make an ape hip be a human hip? <laughs> the solution's so simple, I'm amazed you hadn't thought of it. If you break out a power saw is what you do. You are not going to believe what you're about to see. This is Dr. Owen Lovejoy, who's the head of anthropology at Kent State University, and he's quite concerned about the fact that Lucy's pelvis is wrong because it's ape-like, and we all know it should be human-like. And a solution can be found. Watch this. This is pretty funny. The ape that stood up, it was a revolutionary idea. We needed Owen Lovejoy's expertise again, because the evidence wasn't quite adding up. The knee looked human, but the shape of her hip didn't. Superficially, her hip resembled a chimpanzee's, which meant that Lucy couldn't possibly have walked like a modern human. But Lovejoy noticed something odd about the way the bones had been fossilized. When I put the two parts of the pelvis together that we had, this part of the pelvis has pressed so hard and so completely into this one that it caused it to be broken into a series of individual pieces which were then fused together in later fossils. Now what he said happened is probably a deer come along and stepped on this thing, <laughs> broke it, made it look ape-like, when he knows it ought to look human-like. And so here's an actual picture of the deer stepping on the fossil here. And uh, kidding, of course, but that's the idea that it, uh, it, a deer stepped on that uh, piece of hip bone here. And listen to what he says in this next section. This is just amazing. Uh, this has caused the two bones, in fact, to fit together so well that they're in an anatomically impossible position. Did you hear that? It's the fact that these bone components fit together so well that we know it's anatomically impossible. The real only, pro the only problem here is that it doesn't look human-like, it looks ape-like. Well, don't worry about it, there's a solution to this. Wait till you see the solution. The perfect fit was an illusion that made Lucy's hip bones seem to flare out like a chimps. But all was not lost. <laughs> Power saw to the rescue. Look at the pieces fly. This is incredible. Lovejoy decided he could restore the pelvis to its natural shape. He didn't want to tamper <laughs> with the original, so he made a copy in there. plaster. He cut the damaged pieces out and put them back together the way they were before Lucy died. It was a tricky job. But after taking the kink out of the pelvis, it all fit together perfectly, like a three-dimensional jigsaw puzzle. Look how perfect that puppy fits. Isn't this wonderful? <laughs> Did you notice the perfection here? I mean, this is science. As a result, the angle of the hip looks nothing like a chimp's, but a lot like ours. This is called making your own data. Well, some people...